everyone, today's video is going to be a garden tour. Now this video has been so highly requested, which is quite unusual I guess, I never expected this would be something which got so many requests for, but it has, so I thought that I would do that today. And I just wanted to point out that we do live in a semi-detached house, so it's not massive, it's just because well, our house isn't massive, we do have quite a big garden, but that's because we live at the end of a cul-de-sac and we have the bigger garden, so yeah, I just wanted to point out that we don't have like a massive house or anything, it's just like, we're lucky to have a larger garden. So I will start off by showing you this area. Now this is just as you come out of the house and at the back, so I'm sure you're all familiar with this area because I always film it on my vlogs and everything and he's just here on the floor so this is our decking area we also got it fenced out as well so that Vinny can still have a nice area to run around without getting into the garden where it's not safe so he has got this area and yeah purely because of him I think that's why we decided to put the fencing up down here we also have a table and some chairs and yeah that's pretty much this area there's not a right lot on here oh bless him here we have this from home sense i really like this we just picked it up the other day and i really like the color of it so it's just basically to keep things looking tidy and obviously because i always dump my shoes out here so we thought this would be a good solution to that problem because it looks nice and tidy and Vinny's toys and bits and bobs like that so we then have these table and chairs again so then yeah i'm sure you're all familiar with this bit because i always come down here on my vlogs like all the time so yeah this is sort of I guess it's sort of like a mini courtyard if you want to look at it that way so we have this area as well and this is so we can get like Vinny a bit more running space when we're around so it's good for him and I just think it makes a better I don't know what the word is I just think it looks nicer for this area having that we've got lots of flower pots and things growing here which look nice and we've recently just done this also this fencing's only just been put up these last few weeks so yep then we have some more chairs here and a few more pots down here and then that's the gate to go out of the front and yeah we also have a canopy I'm not sure if I've ever shown you this before but yeah so we do have that which goes all the way around to here and then we have there's quite a lot of green plants in this area we have this room now we got this room for the guinea pigs originally and then the guinea pigs have moved out now and we're thinking we may use it again for the guinea pigs during winter because I'm not sure if their playhouse will be warm enough for them so that's an option but we don't know for sure so it's sort of like a garden room type thing we're kind of using it as a spare room at the minute it's not got that much in it so there's a sofa there and then like a fireplace and a desk and stuff and we've got a TV up there as well so I do like this room but I guess we're not really getting to use it that much at the minute probably because I guess it was sort of a spare room but I'm not sure if it will stay as a spare room we'll see how things go I guess but yeah I do quite like this room and the guinea pigs actually used to live on this side we had the whole herd living on this side of the room and it did work nicely but we wanted them to have a more outdoorsy life so that's kind of why we brought them outside but it was good whilst they were in here and I do think it's a really nice room so I do like that as well and we've also got some decorations like bunting, some flowers and then more fairy lights up there as well so then coming out here you're all very familiar with this area I'm sure here is my supply shed I use for all the pet supplies, pretty much everything. I don't like to show in here because it's really, really messy. I'm just not very good at keeping things organised. 
as you can see but we have like hamster toys, gerbil toys, we have chests of drawers full of guinea pig and rabbit things then all of this yeah it's a mess basically <laughs> my um, pets palace tv lights up there which haven't been used in ages I should really get them back out again in use then we've got hay and um, green bins filled with bedding, pea flakes, yeah. We just have the whole lot in here basically. Not very interesting, but you know. Then here is the animal area. The animals are kind of taking over the whole garden, as you can see. Uh, I will just point out we have this area for just kind of storing things. We've got a box with random bits and bobs for the guinea pigs and rabbits then just other random bits and bobs which isn't interesting again <laughs> yeah so this is the area you all know very well we have the rabbit shed the rabbits are sleeping <laughs> as usual then their outdoor aviary okay and then this is the guinea pigs playhouse their outdoor area and they're just out munching on some herbs at the minute it's a very hot day and they haven't had they haven't really been used to the heat so much so yeah they're kind of struggling to cope with it i've been having to give them things like damp towels and just ideas like that to help them keep cooler because they're just really not used to the heat so i may do a video on that actually just to show you like how i keep my guinea pigs warm i mean cool not warm how to keep my guinea pigs cool in the warmer months so I could do a video on that if you want to see that oh Mabel yeah I really need to fence this, air, fence this area off because I think the guinea pigs are just going to eat all of the plants oh can you get over there oh my god please don't oh god where are you going sweetie oh what is she doing <laughs> she got out anyway I do need to fence this off because they are demolishing it I don't know what I'll do though so yeah this is the area you will have seen this quite a lot I'm very sure of that so yeah not really much more to show about this area you know it really well so we do have some grass here the guinea pigs sometimes come out here when the weather's good so I have let them out on it today and they love to graze, they really do like that. Here is like our plant border. We have loads of different plants here and the idea of this is to attract wildlife such as butterflies and other insects and things. So yeah, we do get quite a few different animals in our garden, like insects and stuff, but the, pur the purpose is really to attract butterflies and yeah there's not been many this year but we do try and have a lot of different plants and things that may attract them so this is what the area looks like <laughs> still munching on all the herbs this is an area which you probably haven't seen very much at all I don't think I've ever really shown this in a vlog or any other video really. So this is our pond area we've had for a few years now. We have different animals and here like people have asked me do we have fish? We don't have any fish in the pond but we do have other wildlife which has decided to come here. I can actually see some frogs at the minute. I'll try and zoom in but it's going to be hard to show on camera. Can you see that frog there? <laughs> oh, I find frogs really cute. I don't know if that's weird, but I find them quite cute. Are there any more? I don't know, but yeah, we have frogs. We have a lot of those uh, snail things. And basically just things like that we haven't got any fish though because I know someone was asking me that the other day on YouTube then we have quite a lot of different plants and things I like to collect some herbs for the guinea pigs around here we do have quite a lot of safe herbs here and it's sort of 
bordered off with these pebbles which I think looks nice so I'll just do like a little overview of that area I actually really like this area of the garden I think it's nice and we do have some stepping stones to lead to the next area so I'll just take you down here oh and also we have this bug hotel which is quite sweet I don't really know if we have much in here but I think there are a few things that have been living there I think we have mice maybe I think we did have some at one point so we'll just walk around this is where I filmed part of the video for foraging for guinea pig um, forage and rabbits so you may recognise part of this like we have the mint and the sage which is now gone so I don't know why I'm pointing to that <laughs> uh, yeah just random plants and things and there's an aeroplane going past as usual whenever I want to film Okay, so over here we have our summer house, as you can see, I don't really know if I've shown this much either before on YouTube, but I think it's a really cosy little area of the garden, we have all these nice decorations like fairy lights and just really cute decorations, I think it's just a really nice area and yeah I just love how it's set up and everything, I think it looks quite cute. And these are also some, like, I made this candle holder, so I, I think I just used nail varnish and um, made this pattern. The butterflies have gone a bit damaged, but yeah, I think they look quite cute. And then we have this wood burner. I think we might be using this tonight, I'm not too sure. We haven't used it in such a long time because obviously it's been too cold but hopefully we'll get to use that again soon and the cute thing is it's got this owl on it I don't know if that's really showing up but I think that's really cute a bench here and we have another little stone bench over there also we have another pond here and this random duck thing <laughs> so I don't know oh there was a frog did you see that Yep, so we do have quite a lot of frogs. We've had this pond for a long time, but yeah, we've always had quite a lot of frogs in our garden. So that's just a little pond we have. And again, this is the plant border, I guess you could call it. So we have different flowers and things like that. Then here we have I have to stand really far back. You'll see why in a minute. We have our massive, massive tree. How huge is that? It's actually taller than the house. So yeah, it's absolutely enormous. Now, we are thinking that we'll have to chop it down soon because we feel it's a bit out of place with our garden. It's just got too big, too out of control. It'll just continue to keep growing. So we think we may have to cut it down, which is kind of sad because we've had it for so long. But I think that's what we'll have to do. So yeah, our absolutely enormous tree. There isn't actually that much on this side of the garden, I have to say. There isn't that much. Just plants and also we have some plants for the guinea pigs like mint and other herbs like sage, lavender, things to attract wildlife as well. We've got a bird feeder. Then yeah this area is kind of just we haven't got much here because we like to keep this quite plain I guess and we have a lot around the other side of the garden so I guess that's pretty much it for this tour hope you have enjoyed seeing this as I know it's been a really highly requested video and everyone just wants to see it so hopefully you enjoyed this video and yeah I will see you guys next time Bye.